Over the past few years, I have explored a lot of different apps, systems, tools, all those things, and I've learned a lot about how to understand your personal finances. I found something that works pretty well for me and my family. It's a simple spreadsheet. So I thought I'd share it with other people, such as yourself, to see if you will find it useful too. I have an Apple Numbers and a Google Sheets version of this spreadsheet, but for this video, I'm just gonna demo the Apple Numbers version. If you're interested in getting this template, there's a link in the description below. And if you wanna see how the spreadsheet works, keep watching. Okay, so here we are in the Apple Numbers spreadsheet template here, and you'll see there's a number of tabs on the top, and we're gonna go through each one. So the first one here is your summary. Think of this like a bird's eye view of your finances. So along the top here, it gives a summary of your emergency fund, your monthly surplus, your total debt, total savings, and your total investments. Then as we scroll down, we have your income, and this is broken down by net and gross and yearly and monthly. And then we have your expenses. And this is broken down into monthly and yearly so you can understand how that money's being used. There is a category system here, which I'll explain uh, once we get to the expenses part, which is how your expenses are categorized. And they're broken down into four specific buckets. And you can see the totals of that uh, yearly and monthly across all of those things. One other nice detail about this summary view is that if you notice underneath, it gives you a little bit of context into how each of these numbers stacks up against your income, whether that be gross or net income. For example, if we go back down to expenses, you can see that for the essential expenses, essential monthly expenses, it totals to almost 50% of the net monthly income and about 40% of the gross monthly income. And the reason this is useful is because you, you're able to see how much of your money is essentially allocated to different parts of your budget and allows you to just make simpler and better decisions for things that you either want to do and want to add to your budget or things you want to remove from your budget. And along the top here, so if we look at the emergency fund, uh, ideally this should cover three to six months of your expenses. And then as you're tracking this, as we get into each one of these, this will calculate how many months your emergency fund will cover. So this means that let's say you uh, lost a job or you uh, your salary is, is reduced in some way and you, know, you need something to to be able to, to cover and fill the gaps, you'll be able to very quickly know how much, uh, how much time you have before you need to make other adjustments here. In this summary view, all of these things are powered by each one of these different tabs here. So we have income, savings, expenses, debts, and investments. And depending on what you fill out in each one of these tabs, this information in this summary view will be updated. This summary view is really great for being able to answer simple questions like, hey, how much money do we have left over per month, right? This is your monthly surplus. Or if I lost my job this week or next week, what would we be able to do and what would we have to change uh, in a situation like that? And that could be looking at how much money you have in your emergency fund. And that can be uh, looking at different parts of your expenses to see what could be cut out of your expenses and what can't be cut out of your expenses if needed. So let's get into each one of these tabs. First is income, and this is really simple. So all you have to do is you have this income source here, and this can be, you know, this can be, this spreadsheet can work for a single person or for multiple people. Your income source can be people, right? So you can write someone's name. You can have multiple, if you have multiple jobs, you can put multiple income sources here. And anything that's highlighted blue are the things that you wanna fill out. And then all the other things are calculated automatically for you. So what you'll need to know here is your biweekly net income and your biweekly gross income uh, for each income source. So each, each job that you have essentially. And then we go to savings and Savings is, this is kind of broken up into the various goals that you may have, and you can set the goals however you want. So let's say you're saving for a house and you need $50,000 uh, to for a down payment. You can track that and say, okay, here's the current amount we have saved, and this will tell you how much, you know, how much percent complete you are towards that goal. If you need to save for vacation, uh, for gifts, like this can be used for Christmas, birthdays, all that kind of stuff. So things you can kind of put aside throughout the year to make paying for those things a lot simpler and a lot easier. Then you have your emergency fund and, and you can figure out what you would need for that. 
You can add as many savings goals as you want here, but this is just a simple way to say, oh yeah, we need to save for this thing. How much do we need to save? And then you can start tracking that to see how much progress you're making. Then we get into expenses. So like I said earlier, expenses are broken down by four different buckets. So you have essential, and these are the expenses that you absolutely require. The have to haves. So this is expenses you enjoy and life would be ruined without them. Then you have nice to have. So these are expenses you enjoy, but life wouldn't be terrible without them. You could get rid of them. And then you have things that you truly should not have. So these are the expenses that you regret. And I've linked a video down here that I highly recommend watching. And it's something that I had been putting together this spreadsheet for over a year at that point and kind of tweaking different things. And I stumbled upon this video of, of this person who was who had broken it down in this way and it just it just clicked for me. So I, I, I've i baked it into this spreadsheet here. So I highly recommend watching that because uh, this person goes into a much deeper dive on these various buckets. So now we get into the actual spreadsheet here and you can see that this is categorized by importance, right? So you have this here. There's some of the, most of the basics are here, but again, you're gonna have to adjust this and add things and remove things based on your actual budget. And, and the things that you're actually paying for. And you really do wanna be as accurate as you can here to say like, what do you actually pay towards things? And you may need to go through your actual uh, bank statements to see what you're actually spending towards stuff. Especially things like groceries, which are, uh, you know, we all spend a shocking amount of money on that stuff. But for all these things, uh, you wanna go through and you wanna, so you wanna give it a name, you wanna give it an importance. So is this essential? Is this a have to have, a nice to have, shouldn't have? And really be, you know, again, be be thoughtful and intentional about this stuff because it, it does matter. And you can use this guide up here for figuring that out. And then you can give it a subcategory essentially. And this is where uh, there's a bunch of starter ones in here, but you can add and change your own however you wanna do it. Again, this just gives you a nice way to be able to see, if you look on the right hand side here you can see this is all kind of summed up by importance so you can see that the totals of these or by category so you can see which categories are you uh, essentially spending the most money in and that way again it gives you much more information so you can just make good decisions about how you're using your money and again everything in blue here uh, you fill out so you can put in the totals here uh, if something is a yearly expense like you know you pay for amazon prime or you know pay for disney disney plus that's an annual thing you can put that there so next we have debts uh this is things like credit cards mortgages cars anything that you are uh paying monthly on that has interest that kind of stuff so you want to track that stuff here and this is very simple you put in what the thing is uh if it's helpful you can put in the the kind of interest rate and then what is the actual balance and then you know if it's a credit card you can see like what the limit is you can add any notes you want and again since this is a spreadsheet you can customize this however you want to fit the way that that your brain works and then lastly we have investments so this is things like your 401k your uh, ira if you're into uh stocks all that kind of thing you can track all that stuff here and uh, you can update as, as often or as infrequently as you want, but it'll give you a rough, a rough uh, total of your current investments here. Now, once all of these are filled in, if you go back to summary, everything you filled in will now be updated. So you'll, you'll be able to very, very easily see uh, what your current financial situation looks like. You'll be able to see how much of an emergency fund you have, what your monthly surplus is. Again, this is the money you, you have remaining after paying all of your bills, what your total debt is, total savings in general. So total savings is different from emergency fund. This is literally all of the savings you have across all of your savings goals here. And then if you look at your income, you can see how much you're bringing home per month and per year, uh, net and gross. And then you can see a breakdown of your expenses. And again, this gives you really easy to digest information to be able to understand what your current financial situation is like so that you can make better decisions for yourself, family, for the future. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any thoughts or feedback, feel free to leave a comment. If you're interested in getting this template, there is a link in the description below with a bunch more details. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.